<clears throat> Hello, Nock. Hi, teacher. How are you today? I'm good, thank you. Very good. Okay, we're going to carry on with our speaking. Um, let me just write here quickly. Give me one minute. Um, okay, page 28. Okay, so let's look over here. We're going to describe a popular place for sports, for example, a stadium that you have been to. Have you been to a stadium before? Knock. Have you been to a stadium before? Uh, yes. Okay. Okay, so now describe a popular place. Let's talk about a stadium that you have been to. You should say where it is, when you went there, what you did there, and explain how you felt about this place. Uh... Two months ago, uh, in my country, there are uh, there were popular, there were a popular sport uh, score, uh, competition, and there are many people uh, go to Hanoi City to uh, watch that competition. Um, my father was really exciting in my mother too. Excited. So, um, Remember you speak in past past tense now. Um so they decided to uh book a um, ticket uh to watch that competition and I went with um my parents to Hanoi City. Uh, is uh the the uh, competition is was uh, the, what uh at meeting or uh, stadium it is very um uh, the largest stadium one in my country and. When I went there, it's very crowded in, uh, and I was really excited when I saw the soccer, uh, the footballer playing uh, while the competition, that it is my first time, uh, it's not my first time. Uh, while I uh, watched my uh, while you uh, sometimes uh, the football was boring so I find something to play like um, I write some paper. Um, uh, I write some trick. Uh, they give me a snack. but um, at the stadium it is very noisy, so I can can hear the uh, sound very 
But I think uh, it is a great experience for me. And I want to go there once uh, more time in my, uh, in this year. Okay. Very nice. Thank you, Nock. That sounds like fun. Do you enjoy watching soccer on the TV? Uh, I think when I go when to the, the stadium, it's more exciting and um, I can uh, watch it re, um, at the stadium with a, a perfect scene. But uh, when I was in a TV, uh, sometimes there are um, many advertising. Uh, and I not. You don't enjoy it. Yet. Okay, good. Hello, New. Hello, Tisha. How are you today? I'm very good. How about you? I'm good, thank you. Okay, Nock has just told, spoken to me about. Describe a popular place for sports, uh, e.g. as example, um, a stadium that you have been to. So have you been to a stadium or a sports center before? Um, yes. Yeah, okay. So now we need to say where it is, when you went there, what you did there, and explain how you felt. I want a lot of speaking for this. But you can have some time to think about it if you need to. Can you hear me? Hello? Can you hear me? Okay, I don't know why. I think it's very windy outside at my house. Um, so maybe the internet is not good. Okay, um, New, you can tell me when you're ready. Mm. Um, the popular place for sport, um, I think is um, swimming pool. Um, it's a uh, clear. Uh, it's near my, near my school, and um, this is a a multi sport community. Uh. And this is obviously highly well liked because it's uh, because I every um, every time I visit um, and this is um okay so you do you go there often um, yes. Is it a warm is it a warm swimming pool or a cold swimming pool? It's a warm swimming pool. Okay, so you can go in winter, you can go the whole year. Yeah. Okay. And um, it's two, three, four, all of age. So, uh, last, what? Yeah. Uh, last month, I made the decision to learn to swim. <clears throat> and, 
I learned when I learned that uh, the center of fear swimming lesson I musically wrote. Um, and I told that um, who teaches you how to swim? Do you do you go to a swimming teacher? Yeah. Okay, and does she have a lot of students? Um, is her um five to six students okay okay not too many students yeah. and are you uh, what how often do you go to her how often do you go to the swimming teacher like every monday every wednesday once a month Do you go to her every Monday, Wednesday? Let me see if this if it helps. Can you can you hear me? I'm sorry. I think my internet is low. Yeah. Okay. Let's go back. <clears throat> okay, that's fine. New, you spoke a lot about the swimming. Very good. Okay, let's go to our questions. I want you to ask each other questions. Okay, I'm going to leave my camera off for today. I just want to see maybe my internet is um, stronger if my camera is off. Otherwise, I'll turn it on. Okay, so Nock, you're going to read question number one. New, you're going to answer question number one. Do young people like to do sports? Um, I think young people like to do sport because uh, they want to have a body fit and um, and a healthy and be healthy. Yeah. Okay. Also, younger people can move a lot faster. And are stronger than older people. Yes, and uh, sport can relax when they have a uh, busy days. Yes, good. Okay, new. You can read question two. What are the benefits of sport for children? Uh. I think the uh, benefit is a uh, sport can help children keep uh, their healthy. And uh, I think today many children uh, spend too much time, um, too much their free time to watch television. So this is a solution to help them far away from technology and internet. Okay, yes, very good. Okay. Uh, it is yes. necessary to build public sport uh, space. Is it necessary to build public sports spaces? I want to hear the S's, Nock. New, what do you think? Is it necessary to build public sports spaces? Do you think it's good that there's places that everybody can go to? Um, yes, it is because uh, everyone can play together in uh, the public sport uh, space and um, in Yeah, okay. And um you can practice with your friends? Yes. Um you can practice with friends and uh, have fun together. Okay. Okay, very good. Um okay, you can read the next one for knock. 
uh, what do you think of a uh, companies donating donate donating sport when used for poor children? Do you understand the question, Lynn? Uh, knock, sorry. Do you understand the question, Knock? Oh, no. Okay. Companies donating sports venues for poor children. So, if you have a very big company that makes a lot of money, okay, they will donate money. Donate means to give money to people that are very poor. So, if there's a big company, they give money to build a sports field or, or a basketball court or something like that for the poor children to play on. What do you think about that? Do you think it's a good idea or not? Uh, I think it is good because they can have many people uh, and children we and not have money, you know, to... Uh, have um uh, have a place to play in play sport and this can um we can make um uh, they give their healthy and um uh, and they can have um, fun with that with our uh, instead of internet that uh, they not have enough money to buy yes okay um, even they don't even have enough money to make their own sports center and they don't have enough land or space okay so it is a good idea okay now you can read the next one number five it's very helpful for people to do sport. Um, yes, it is because um, they can learn sport online and uh, follow sport channel and know many <coughs> many sporters and uh, sport matches. For example, is uh, football, basketball, swimming, and badminton. Okay, yes. Okay. Um Okay, so then do you think that um technology almost like you can learn more about sport? Um technology Okay, yeah, technology is almost like your phone or your TV or something like that. So do you think maybe that you can watch videos about sport and that it can help you? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Okay, let's do the last one. New, you can read it for Nock. Uh, do you think local sports team can help improve community connections? Do you understand, Nock? Uh, yeah. uh, I think uh, from Lucas Martin, uh, they can have to have uh, many people to become a member of a sport team in uh, it can increase the uh, sport community that has that country very, very much um, about sport on the world. Yeah, good. Okay, but yes, because sometimes um, children go to a different school, so... They don't get to play sports with their friends from another school. Or maybe adults like to play sport and they don't go to school. So they need to join a community or a sports club so that they can 
become part of a sports community. Yes, understand, happy? Yes. Okay. Okay, let's move on. Now we've got another long one. Uh, describe a story or novel you have read that you found interesting. Okay, so a storybook or a novel um, can be any book that you've read that you found interesting. When you're ready, you can tell me. Okay, you don't have to give me the name of the book. You, you just follow these over here. But I want at least three sentences for each point here. So I want 12 sentences. At least you can give me more if you want to. <clears throat> Knock, are you ready? Can I try? Yes, of course. Uh, there is a novel that made me very interesting. Uh, this is one of my birthday uh, present that uh, this year. And uh, when I when my aunt gave it to me, I was really happy that is it the a uh, novel that I have found a long time, but I can find it. Uh, oh, okay, yes. Uh, I, read it, I read it after my birthday party, and I was really exciting. Uh, really excited? excited, yes. About uh, that uh, writing. And I read it among every day. Uh, the novel about how to smile or uh, how to every, how to smile okay. um, with every situation is heavy very much to um have to uh, to make me relax. And happy every day with our only um worry. And uh, this book also helped me to have high school um high school with um every important exam relation. Um, uh, is it an English book or a Vietnamese book? Is it um English book, but uh under is center. Um, is have Vietnamese sentence that Hemi uh, can oh. improve my reading and also I can understand what it about. Okay, I see. Okay. Uh, it a uh, writer is um is a popular writer. Uh, if you don't, it's okay if you don't remember the name. Uh, from um uh, America and uh there is a friend that have uh has uh, heard to John uh, from England. Okay. Um is it is very interesting that uh I can from I can from many a parent about is in is have my life um more 
um, more fantastic and I can help you every day with this book. Okay, very nice. That sounds like a good book. Very nice, Nock. Okay, that's very good. I'm happy. And even if you finished reading it, it's a kind of book that you can read a lot of times. You can read it over and over again. Yes, because it can make you feel happy. Yeah. Yes, okay. Okay, Nu, are you ready to tell me about your book? Uh, yes, teacher. Okay. Um, I'm going to talk to you about the Cinderella story. Um, that's I finished reading uh, when I'm six years old. And uh, it's what about um, the life of uh, Cinderella. Um, she is a uh, Cinderella lived a uh, half minute with her parents, but one day is um her mom dead um and her dad her dad uh marry a new wife uh she is a wicked uh wicked. Yes, wicked witch. Yeah, witch. And um, she has a uh, um. She give it. Does she give her a, po a poisonous apple? Um no, um, she has a uh, two daughters. And yeah. do they like Cinderella? Yeah. The to the daughters, do they like Cinderella? Yeah. Yeah? Oh, okay. I thought they didn't like her. Uh, yeah. Okay. And when, yeah. and when her father this um, um her father dies? Her father died. The girl stepmother, um, step yes, her stepmother is the queen. Yeah, and are uh, you are you reading this from somewhere new? What? Are you reading the story from somewhere? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Tell me more. And her stepmother to maltreat her, and um, she was uh to um clean a house every day, and they're not very nice to her. Yeah. Very mean, okay. And one day, uh, okay, let's see now. Who wrote the story? Do you know? We don't have to say name, you can just say. If it's a famous person or not? Um, it's a Charlie's Plot. A child a storybook. Yes. Okay. Why was it interesting? Why did you like it? Um Um, because I thought the story is uh, so attractive and interesting. Okay, good. Yes, it is a nice story in the end. Um, is it a happy story at the end or is it not happy at the end? 
on is a this is a have be a pain uh, with the uh, with a prince was mar married with Cinderella. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yes, it is happy for Cinderella. Okay. Let's see. Let's move on. Knock, you can read question number one for me. New, you're going to answer it. Uh, how the technology help people tell stories? New, how does technology help people tell stories? Um, I think uh, technology help people tell a story. What do you? What can you read stories on with technology? Um, is a phone. Yes. Okay. Okay, so tell me, tell me, how does it help? You can read on your phone, on your tablet, on the computer. Um, technology help people to learn many things from a story and technology. Uh, Um, make it possible for everyone to read at any time. Yes, very good. Okay, you don't have to carry a book with you because you can read on your phone. Yeah. Yeah, okay, good. Uh, New, you can read question two for Nock. Uh, do you prefer to read ebooks or printed books? Do you know what an ebook is? Well, I don't know. Okay, an uh, ebook is like a book that you read on a screen. So, like on a tablet or a phone, you can. You still have to pay for it. You have to download it and pay for it, but you only get it on your computer or your phone or your tablet. But a printed book is like a book book. That's what it. It's a normal book. Uh, I prefer to uh, read print book um, as printed think, books. Printed books, and I think um, when while I uh, read printed books, uh, I can. Uh, it is more lively, and uh, I can. Uh, read it more slowly, and I can easy to take it every way, and uh, I can read it many times. But I think in uh, ebooks, it is really difficult to uh, to read. At, uh, as I think, uh, you more to plan for it. But, uh, the screen but, is bad for your brain. For your yes, eyes. and um, it is very difficult to uh, take it everywhere. And if this uh, screen is too small, uh, it can have um grow back from uh for their eyes. Yes. Okay. Very good. Okay, now if you can read the next one. Oh, why are Miss Prairie novels so popular nowadays? 
um, I think because of fictional fictionality, um, in the process of creative uh, creative thinking in novels, fictional contents along the reproduction of time, um, and confinement to historical patterns, history available. Um, therefore, yeah, uh, therefore, artistic fiction allows to reveal the creative ability and viewers to reproduce the life picture of the author. Okay, okay. Are you are you reading the answers from somewhere, Nock? Oh no. Uh, oh, sorry, not Nock. Um, new. Yeah. Okay. Okay, that's fine. Um. Uh. New. You can ask the next question. Number four. What kind of, what kind of novels and suitable for a film adaptation? Okay, that's a difficult question. Um, so what kind of novels do you think can be made into movies? Do you think? I think today there are many kinds of novel, but um, the one that's more popular in is good for everyone to watch. Um, I think is um uh, the uh, novel about like, does he people very much um to um yes okay and maybe nowadays often uh, people like to make series so or a lot of movies. So maybe those stories that are longer or um, the author, the writer, likes to write a lot of books. Those are often turned into movies. 